Okay, I, I moved that one aside and decided it definitely wasn't <laughs> wasn't going to be an easy fix. This one's lovely. This has got snapshots written on it, but this, um, oh, I think I could take that apart as well. Could I? Maybe not. Oh, well, I need a bit more there. See if I can. It'd be nice to take it out whole, but let's see. Seems to be tied in quite a tight knot. No, let's see if I can snip that and then maybe the other one will come through. I don't know why I'm trying to save it, but habit, I guess. <laughs> will you come through now? Yes. Oh, the back was broken off anyway, wasn't it? But... Anyway, I'm in. <laughs> there. So let's put all that bit to one side. So I've just got the photos here now. And this one, it seems, is coming off. I'm thinking I might need to write on the back of them. Oh, this is a postcard one, but it's what it says on here. So, yeah, this could be a long, long drawn out job. So it might not be all that interesting to you. Ralph Everett. And Henry, 1937. Oh, and that is quite a nice page of paper. Um, so let's just go through and pick the ones that are going to be, you know, ones that I particularly want to put into journals, perhaps. Uh, because a lot of these I will do off camera really like that one. I really like this young lady here. How well stuck on are you? It might have to be backed for me to use them in journals, I guess. Oh, why don't I cut them out of that? 1928, it's got written on it. So whoever did this one did me a good job because I have only put them on one side so far. Yeah, rather than peeling them off and then sticking them on some backing. And then if they do come off this back in, it's a bonus. And if they don't, they're like little journal cards, aren't they? So again, 1928. I don't know that this is going to be all that exciting for you to, to see. Maybe I should find something else to film and then share these with you once, uh, once I finish doing this because I think that's definitely good. Good idea. So I'll just cut these four out and write the date on while I remember. Even that one that I've just ripped because I can glue it down. But again. And then we'll do something else. some tags with some of that paper from that temple bar book that I brought up and put some there. Oh. Somebody moved me bin. Put some um, embellishments on them. What did I say? 1928. Easter. Easter? Where did Easter come from? Fall embellishments. So yeah, that is going to be quite a job and, and I think it would be quite interesting for you to see, but um, yeah, it's going to be a long drawn out job, isn't it? So <laughs> she's got a happy face, a screaming face. Yeah, I love those. Um, okay, here's the book. Let's get some card out then and cover some tags. That would be a good idea. Move me scrap out of the way. Oh, just for a little bit of a play, eh? Right, what have we got in here? It'd be nice to use some of my scrap card bits up, actually. What else? That card that's not too thick. Um, they're nice pieces of something. Yeah, let's make those. 
those and to think that was, that's enough I'm overestimating the amount of time I've got to play um, we have been and done a grocery shop for the tea party my goodness things are so so expensive now but they, they, you know the little things add up um, you know paper plates pickles things you don't normally get um well i don't know some people probably do keep things like that in all the time drinks alcoholic drinks um for the men mainly you know beers and things although neil's quite excited that that's what we've we're going to be too big aren't we we've bought some new uh, new ones that he hasn't tried so what size shall we go for for these three three inches i'm going to cut these at three inches so yeah there's going to be a lot of them so i'm definitely not not going to get all these done am i good job i didn't pull any more out so some of them i will mat some of this book page on because this is only thin cards these these are really thick ones so i'll make um make some thick tags with those two these will be more like what i like to call pocket fillers i'm going to make the edge Deckled, that's the word I couldn't think of yesterday or the day before, whenever it was. Because the top of the page, I just like the look. And I have got four journals to fill. I know I'm rapidly running out of time. I'm not panicking. I'll just keep working on them no matter what. Um, they'll always wait until next year if somebody doesn't want them this year. Oh, don't put those in the bin. They're good scraps. There we go. That's it. Let's get rid of these. There you go. So, yeah, these are quite big, but I am going to make them tag-shaped. I think what I'm going to do with this, I can move it onto the floor, is just take a few pages out of it. I don't know if you can see the, the way it's bound. I think that's the middle there. Now you can see the string there, look. Yeah, so there's the binding. Um, I'll put whatever I don't use in the book page uh, pack. So I was wondering about completely covering these with it. Members of the Revolutionary Party, goodness. Leader for the people. I don't suppose anybody will read it by the time I've got everything done on it that I'm going to. So yeah, these two I'm just going to stick completely on and cover completely and then we'll leave them to dry um, while we work on the, a couple of the other pieces. So these will be nice strong tags to put in the, in pockets. I'll put down as a tuck, a tag tuck. Um, I've got another tag in the post and birthday card from Bonnie. Thank you. So that's, let me just show you it. Beautiful card. Thank you, Bonnie. Happy 60th birthday. Have a beautiful day and a wonderful year. That's lovely. Um, it's just, it's come undone. I don't know how that happened. It looks like it's been cut. I don't think it was me, but I will. <laughs> and we'll do it while I'm thinking about it. I was going to just put it down. Um, you know, sometimes I do cut things. I don't think I cut this, but when things come through the post, who knows what happens to them? I might have. I might have cut it open in it. It's quite possible, I suppose. I can't even see that now. Oh, lovely. Um, it will be going downstairs for my birthday and then it will be. Have I finished that? Just start one job and I'm off to another. It will be um, going in my... In my folder this is lovely so it's a beautiful oh another one in it look beautiful little handmade envelope it's that lovely bud a uh, piece of bud lace on it two cute little uh, labels tags pocket fillers i'll call them a dream is a wish your heart makes as it this is very me and it's very bonny she loves all the um um shabby chic and pink and lacy just like me so she's behind her. I don't think you can get into it now. She's all behind a um, window. 
so an envelope I presume it's got some lovely um, machine stitching on it and then on the back is the tuck part of it isn't she beautiful yeah that's lovely and lots of journaling journaling space on there more lace and bows and ribbons the pink this is nice and uh, another lovely big ticket as you know I love tickets as a pocket butterflies front and back it's absolutely beautiful I'm going to tuck it inside that card until I put it in the book with your name on it I'm going to go through maybe for, on the birthday day on my birthday date um, it won't be live I'll have pre-recorded it go through the book so everybody can see I'm going to glue that on where are you sticking it sticking it on here okay <laughs> I'm in a conversation with myself so everyone can see because I know Kathleen she's found it now um but do you remember I had two Kathleen's when I first put um put the tags in the book and and she thought it had got lost she missed the video and didn't know that I had it so I will go through them again um oops but you know before I do the draw um, and show everybody the tags. Uh, someone else said to me I'd forgotten what, what my tag was like as well, so that was oh, that was nice. Right, they'll just sit there to dry so I cut round them and we'll work on this. So I'm thinking about stenciling on this before I put it onto here. So let's get a stencil. I'm thinking about putting some colour. Some well, I still haven't found my swirly yet. My swirly whirly. Let's go with this one. What's it? I forget what it's called now, that swirl. It'll be somewhere. I'll find it one day and it'll be like, aha. Um, I know for a fact if I buy it, if I rebuy really it, it will turn up. So I'm looking for pink. Some kind of oh, salt water taffy. Corally pink. Excuse me while I just have a little. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I've got the big lacy sleeves on. I'm wearing, I'm wearing my clothes that are getting too big for me. <laughs> While I can, the ones that I love. So um yeah, I didn't I didn't intend to come and craft in it. I've been out, like I say, I've been to the doctors this morning for my uh well they call it a yearly checkup, but they send for you once you're sixty. I'm not sixty quite yet, but so I've had you know, blood pressure, blood test. Um, it's like a tick tick box question thing where the nurse just sits and asks you lots of questions and um, I'm so pleased that I've got um you know healthier these last is it four months three to four months now I've been doing it um because yeah the, the the answers were very very different now to what they were would have been about how how active etc I am Whoa, I like that um that's a lot of taffy on that dark page beautiful um so yeah so my um is it my blood pressure i'm thinking and doing at the same time <laughs> my blood pressure was spot on where it should be which is always good to know my um my score that she gave me they don't give you a complete score until you get your blood work back but um basically you're going to get a score out of i can't remember what she said now 106 which seems a very strange uh, number relating to how how likely you are to have a stroke or a heart attack in the next 10 years crikey <laughs> just by questions and some blood um and i think well i know i must be already a, a lot lesser risk than i was four months ago but that can only improve can't it the more i the more i stick to this this new healthy regime i'm going to take this bit off i don't want I'm just going to match sort of. I don't want it all square, so I'm going to tear this one. Oh, it's, I was going to say it's tearing quite well, but it's it's fine. Um, that is gorgeous. The more I tear, tear that down into a, oh, I love it, into a, a, a size. Move it out the pet. Oh yes, I love that. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I'll do that again. What I need is glue book. So if I remember rightly, I saw I saw some blue pages in in here. Let's see. If I remember rightly, the other day when I was using it, that looks like them. 
Yeah, that's blue pages. Super. Recognise the bird book. Yeah, love that. Um, so, yes. She did my weight, but she did it in um, kilograms and I get weighed in. Oh, excuse me, that's my coffee. Well, blame my coffee. I get weighed in uh, stones and pounds. Um, and there was a lady at swimming, uh, at swimming Club a couple of weeks ago who said she'd been that morning to the doctors and she was shocked because they did her weight and it was nine pounds different, higher, I have to say, to um, Slimming World scales. So I, Neil said to me, what was your weight like compared to Slimming World? I said, well, she only told me in... Uh, what, what did you tell me it in? So this one's going to be smaller, but that's okay. In fact, I might do another strip of something else over the top, but let me put this down. Yeah, she, she told me it in kilograms, and I told him about the other girl, so I said, I don't think it would upset me, um, you know, because I'm only interested in the same scales every week that I get weighed on, but I'm not taking the risk. <laughs> Um, so I didn't try to work it out or anything, but she did tell me that my uh, BMI was 33 and it was 35 when I started uh, Slimming World. So that that's a plus. That's good. And obviously it needs to come down to, well, 25 I'd be happy with or thereabouts. Let's put these lovely bits in the scrap box. We don't want to lose those, do we? Um, so yeah, I don't, and I don't know because I've been so hit and miss with the, um, let me just grab some, oh, what have I done with them? I told you, I said it to you the other day and it's even worse now if you could see my room. It really is Armageddon. <laughs> Armageddon. Yeah, but I made these the other day. These are what I was after. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I've been telling you my weight losses or not. Probably not. I wanted another strip of something down there. I wasn't leaving it that small. A strip of something else. What, what did I want? I wanted some actual, which I haven't got in here, digital paper. So let's look in the small box, which is where? There. <laughs> As if I've got any strips that I would... Oh, some nice pink there only some rose Ooh. first thing i pulled out i'm going to tear it down and then see which side side i like best so uh, what was i saying oh yeah my weight losses so i got weighed on the friday morning this last week because on the thursday when i was due to go get weighed um i'm sure i told you that mum wasn't well and we ended up at the hospital um so yes yeah, so i got weighed the next morning I normally get weighed Thursday evening. I got weighed Friday morning, so not, not too far off. And I'd lost a pound and a half, which I was pleased with. I don't like the plain pink. Oh, I like the plain pink. I mean, they're both nice. Do I like it across the middle? Ooh. Might have another piece down here. Let's see. Um, but the, the week before, I'd lost uh, three and a half. So I've been doing the intermittent fasting as well as... No, don't lose those because they're all good. As well as, so where do I want it on this end? Yeah, I'm going on this end. And I'm going to use brown, I think, on it. Where's my dobber gone? Yeah, so I think that's probably had an effect on it as well. So following the Slimming World plan, so, you know, eating on the Slimming World plan, but just um, eating within a six-hour window period. So not eating for six hours, <laughs> but... Um, I start eating at 11 in the morning with my breakfast. Sometimes I dinner, sometimes I don't. But having my last meal before, I might like it a bit shorter. Uh, either five or six, whichever I choose. Yeah, on there at night. So, yeah, I think that had an effect on it as well because that's five pounds in two weeks, which is pretty good. So, um, this Thursday is which is way day, is my birthday. So it's going to be Friday morning again. And um, yeah, it might it might be again. I'm, I'm not going crazy, but I will have a piece of birthday cake. I mean, it is my 60th. <laughs> might have a glass of wine, I haven't decided yet. Okay, let's put some decorations on these. Now this is very pinky, I don't know if... Ooh. I was going to 
open so if any of these will go that's nice so in these um lovely fall nostalgia is it fall nostalgia decorations um by oh, i've got two i've got brights as well um anton bontic vintage designs there are lots of things that aren't necessarily just fall look I mean, the pumpkins and the leaves on the cups and things. Some of them are not cut out. But like this beautiful coat, patchwork coat and the scarf. Obviously the, the gnomes. Maybe the doors and things. This this set of books, look. I love that set of books. I'm going to put that on there. I do want to ink it. Um, so yeah, they're not just for... Not just for fall. <laughs> like a dog's not just for Christmas. These are not just for fall. Um... Yeah, so I'll let you know. I'll let you know how I get on when I finally get weighed. This hasn't been used for a couple of days. Here we go. Makes a nice change doing ephemera actually, because I feel like all I've done with you recently is a journal and another journal and another journal, um, just because I want to get them made. But I know you guys like it mixed up a bit, don't you? So yeah, I love that on there. You know, the books with the book page behind it is really nice and i'm thinking up there i might like one of those labels from tanya's well, i was gonna say from tanya's fussy cuts tanya is daddy treasure um the freebies from her patreon which i believe i've put them in here I've, yeah i've put some of them in here um, i like this dark one right there's some nice thin ones yeah i think that's going to be the one i'm going to put it right at the top I like to put them back there. There's no room anywhere on my desk to put it. Yeah, I like that up there. Oops. Well, that one just kind of made itself nice and easy. Just a lovely, lovely pocket filler. Um, I could even put one of these tiny little pieces on the back, couldn't I, where the where the journaling is going to happen i'm just thinking you know use them because like i say this is n two pages from seven that i've got cut out let's have a look at the coat and the scarf yeah i like that so there's books on the front this could be the coat that you go to the library in because it's it's wintry it's a bit cool outside or raining <laughs> I see a number there, which I might also put on it, on the back. <clears throat> oh, I've, got a, I've got a very dry tickle. I've had it for a couple of days. I think it's, I'm assuming it's because the heating is on now. Mm. The weather has turned. We keep getting warm days. I'm going to put that on there, just because I can. <laughs> yeah, we do keep getting warm days and then it goes cold again. It's It's very cold today. But not raining like it was last time I was sat here. It was dark and raining and very wintry. It's just cold today. Love that one. Um, how long have I been on? Because the one that I put on here quite well. The one that I put up the other day. Right, where are these? Don't lose them. <laughs> um, yeah, I ran into an hour and there's one. Where's the other? It took something like five hours to upload. Crazy, crazy. Right, so let me speed it up a little bit. So what do I want on here? So I could just go simple pumpkin. I do like that on there, actually. And then um, yeah, I'm going to leave that white, that cream showing behind it. Yeah, and then just a big label at the top, I think. So it's nice when you get a set of fussy cuts like this. You know, whether you've cut them out or you've, you know, bought them. Ready done. Could be stickers or anything. It's nice when you just sit with them on your table and they're ready to just go. Okay, what do I want up there? Let's see what's what's grabbing me. It's a nice green one. No, that's definitely not. It's another one of Tanya's. I would kind of make them into a set, wouldn't it? Oh, grumbling, grumbling throat. Ooh, let's have that. So, yeah. The tickets are all um, Tanya, Tatty Treasures. I'm going to put that specimen one at the bottom as well. Also, also from one of Tanya's kits. 
yeah I like those tickets I did say when when she sent me them that they would be used a lot just knock that down there I knew there would be I love a fancy I keep calling them tickets the labels <laughs> I love a fancy label oh, <laughs> upside down they like me at the moment Oops, I'm rubbing the Okay, and when I use that I might put something else on the back, but I'm going to going to leave them like that for now because I do want to get at least one of these um, cut out and done. So let's let's do that. See how well I can now thinking about that um, tag that Bonnie's just sent me that I've just seen and quite a few tags that you guys have sent me. You're coming adrift there. Um oops. Quite a few of you did tags with pockets on, or like a tag-shaped pocket, whichever you want to call them. So, shall we do one of those? Shall we make this into a a tag with a pocket on it? And um, yeah, a lot of yours were pockets front and back. I'm not going to do that, but I think I will. Yeah, put a pocket on the front of this one. Oops. I'm keeping some of the scraps here because some of the nice ones I don't want to part with. Oh, I've not got the lid on my glue box. And what I'm thinking is one of those really big gnomes. I haven't got them cut out. Oops, I'm doing it again. See if I can quickly cut one out. Because one of those big gnomes would be lovely on here. Before I put the pocket on the loop. They're buried under tons of stuff. Oh. Oh. So you won't have seen these because I I showed you them on the I showed them now. Look, I showed you them on the. He's nice, isn't he? Oh, that one. So these are the very bright. I showed you on the vlog. <laughs> and we're not there. So. I think I showed you them on Sunday. Did I show you on Sunday? Yeah, because I used them on Sunday, didn't I? Video. And I probably cut one out then. Right, where's my little fussy cut scissors? Oh no, I've been robbed. I've only got these. I'm not, these are good. I'm just not quick, you know, because um, those others I've had forever. <laughs> I'm really speedy with them. I know exactly how to. These are my bit slower, but they are very kind to your hands. So I don't mind if there's a bit of cream showing. Just try not to cut into him. Just fast forward me. It'll be much fun watching me do this quick, I think. Wish I could fast forward myself sometimes. Although, when I uh, I sat and cut them out, I, I must admit, I'd not, I'd not been crafting much. And it is. It's as much pleasure for me sitting and cra cutting out some new fussy cuts. I've got a, a set from Tan yeah, Tanya to cut out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Oops, I might do them on my birthday, sit and, and have a, a moment to myself in my chair with a fussy cutting, we'll see. <laughs> if it's, I'm hoping it's nice weather on my birthday and then we'll go for a, because we're having everybody, for, I said from dinner time onwards, it'd be nice to get up and go for a lovely walk, maybe Normanby Park, Normanby Hall, I've shown you some pictures of that before. Somewhere like that, that would be nice. Me and Neil, nice relaxing chill before the festivities. <laughs> I uh, I'm making a birthday cake tomorrow. I was going to buy one. I was going to I was going to be like, oh well, I don't want lots of cake and you know you can buy them at Marks and Spencers. You can buy a decent one, which is a a well known food shop as well as clothes clothing shop in the UK, but. I've got a cake mix, a nice cake mix, can't remember, can't remember what make, it's a good one, um, a chocolate one, and I'll never use it, you know, because we're not, we're not doing cakes and things now, very, very rarely, I'm not baking like I used to, um, so I thought I might as well, might as well make that up, um, I bought butter to put in it. it, I think it says add oil, doesn't it, but I'll make it with butter, and I bought some Rolo chocolates to put on the top, and... We've got candles and things. I thought sometimes it's nicer 
once you put the effort in at a homemade birthday cake, it can be nicer than a bought one, can't it? So there'll certainly be plenty of takers for it, so there won't be there won't be any left. If there is, it'll be going home with people, but I don't think there will be. I think there's going to be nine of us. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Right, I've changed my mind about the pocket because he's just so nice. <laughs> the size of him, I think. Yeah, nine of us, so if I cut the cake into 12. I'm sure there'll be a couple of folk who'll have a couple of pieces, hopefully. <laughs> um, if not, it'll be going home with somebody. It won't be staying here to tempt me. Oh, that's just gorgeous on that. Uh, yeah, I've put him up there because I suddenly decided I would put a label below and have him front and centre. I'm thinking if he goes in a pocket, his face should then. I say face, he hasn't got one, has he? <laughs> his head and his nose and his top whiskers should then be sticking out. That's gorgeous. Now, I'll probably cut the other one out and put it on the other uh, tag like this and make a matching pair. I won't be doing that now, though. Oh, too big. Now, look, I've got these orange ones from Tanya. Too big. Um, there was some thinner ones, but I think they might be in the... I put a lot of them in the, the box with my... Oh, there's one. Perfect. With the autumn uh, embellishments, which is still buried <laughs> to the right of me, till I get in here and sort it. Love that. So I think she's got them with orange, round, red and brown, if I remember rightly. It's definitely orange and brown anyway. It could be green, but I thought it was red. Yes, it's not very pretty cutting out on the back, is it? But you can't tell on the front. It's because I've stuck them onto a real thick card. So it's a chunky. Be nice with a piece of velvet. Um, ruffle or something there but like I say the video is long enough now so yeah I'll definitely have another one of those with the what's it on it the other the other gnome and that's it I'll bring it down a little bit so you can have a good look at them I think okay hope you enjoyed uh, that sorry about the the false start with the photos but you know what's and all what's and all okay I'll see you soon have a lovely day bye for now